Time now for the morning rush. APD's chief of police is saying that they will be putting more safeguards in place to protect against officer misconduct. Chief Harold Medina is still stinging from the 150 DWI cases dismissed last week because the arresting officers are now implicated in a federal corruption investigation. Last night, the chief promised reforms to keep something like this from happening again. The state is set to pay out millions for a settlement in a case that shocked the state. In October of 2019, four-year-old James Dunkley Cruz spoke to officers and CYFD investigators at a doctor's office. A CYFD supervisor kept him in his mom's care, and two months later, James had been beaten to death by a man they were living with. CYFD is now settling the suit related to the case. A pair of Albuquerque gun store employees are facing federal charges after selling undercover agents illegally modified firearms. According to a federal search warrant, Anthony Stephen and Whitney Brissetti uh, sold unregistered firearms Stephen had built, custom built, without a manufacturing license. The two are charged with conspiring to traffic firearms. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It is a cool morning out there and dry. We'll see isolated rain showers possible throughout the day with temperatures up to 49. TSA is responding after a man tried to smuggle a gun through the Albuquerque Sunport. Back in October, TSA agents found a cardboard box wrapped in duct tape inside a bag. Now inside, they found pieces of lead stuck on the outside of a mound of plaster. Law enforcement confiscated the gun and the man was not allowed to fly, but no charges were filed. A bill to help New Mexicans get a safe place to secure their guns is getting bipartisan support. The bill sponsored by three Republicans and a Democrat would establish a tax credit up to $750 for gun store per storage purchases. It becomes after the legislature passed a Benny's law designed to keep guns out of the hands of children. A bill to repay livestock owners when wolves kill their animals has cleared the House committee. The bill comes amid a recent resurgence of wolf populations in New Mexico and Arizona. The bill would put $9 million into an existing compensation program. The department would investigate these cases and pay fair market value if it is proven that wolves are to blame. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is low to moderate today. We'll be seeing more scattered showers and thunderstorms along with some very light mountain snow. Yesterday, Eastern New Mexico University unveiled its new graphics. CNMU says that the process started in the spring of last year when they partnered with Rickabaugh Graphics. The university says the new image makes the greyhound dog head more prominent with more noticeable school coloring and a more detailed dog face. The new academic design symbolizes New Mexico's state flower, the yucca. A New Mexico man experiencing kidney failure was only given a year to live until Jeffrey Schnapp found out that his wife was eligible as a donor. Now the couple is recovering after undergoing the transplant surgery last week. Former President Donald Trump has won the New Hampshire Republican primary. His opponent, Nikki Haley, actually earning more than 40 percent of the vote, pulling in independent and anti-Trump voters. CBS News exit polling finds that New Hampshire Republican primary voters are divided on whether a Trump criminal conviction would make him fit for the presidency. All right, to check on traffic, the maps are clear. No accidents or slowdowns. Trackers heading south on I-25 near MLK, and everything's moving up to speed. A clouded leopard cub named Chai battled a snowman at the Nashville Zoo after snowfall last weekend. According to the zoo's website, Chai is one of just 43 clouded leopard cubs born at the zoo since 2009, a result of the zoo's collaborative breeding and assisted reproduction program. Time now for the five facts. At number five, students at Eastern New Mexico University will start seeing a new logo around campus. Yesterday, the university unveiled its new graphics. NMU says the new image makes the greyhound dog appear more prominent. The new academic design symbolizes New Mexico state flower, the yucca. At number four, a bill to help New Mexicans get a safe place to secure their guns is getting bipartisan support. The bill sponsored by three Republicans and a Democrat would establish a tax credit up to $750 for gun storage purchases. Now it comes after the legislature passed Benny's law designed to keep guns out of the hands of children. The bill is slated to be heard in committee this afternoon. And at number three, we'll be seeing more rain across the state today. Here's a look at radar currently showing that rain is mainly south of I-40 and north of 380. We're seeing that riding through Socorro County in the Rio Grande Valley, including the city of Socorro. And scattered showers are going to be making their way through Clovis and Fort Sumner, even Vaughn, uh, as we go through the morning commute. At number two, the state is set to pay out millions for a settlement in a case that shocked the state. 
In October of 2019, body camera footage showed a four-year-old, James Dunkley Cruz, talking to officers and to CYFD investigators at a doctor's office. He had a black eye cut on his face, a swollen hands, and an arm injury. A CYFD supervisor kept him in his mom's care. Two months later, James had been beaten to death by a man that they were living with. CYFD is now settling that suit, agreeing to pay $4.9 million. And at number one, after his department became the target of a federal investigation, APD's chief of police is saying that they will be putting more safeguards in place to protect against officer misconduct. 150 DWI cases were dismissed last week because the arresting officers are now implicated in a federal corruption investigation. Medina says that on Monday, the department informed five DWI officers that they are targets of an internal affairs investigation. News 13 learned the federal investigation surrounds accusations of officers being paid to get DWI cases dismissed. Medina says more than a year ago, APD looked into complaints from the public against officers in the DWI unit, but it wasn't until last October that APD learned that the FBI was investigating and then offered to help. Last night, the chief promised reforms to keep something like this from happening again. Medina expects to announce those changes later this week.